Hey guys, my name is Sadie and welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you're watching this video. And today I'm going to be giving you more skincare mini reviews and giving kind of an update on my current skincare rotation. I've done a couple of these videos before and I actually won't be talking about every product of every step that I normally use, but these are just newer products that I've been adding into my routine lately and that I've never talked about or reviewed on this channel before. A lot of my routines still consist of my staple favorites, a lot of which I talked about in my skincare yearly favorites, so check out that video if you were looking for more products that I love. So without further ado, let's get into this updated skincare routine and some skincare mini reviews. I have two cleansers to talk about and the first one is by Naturium and it's the Niacinamide Cleansing Gelée 3%. So this contains, as the name suggests, 3% niacinamide. I'm a pretty big fan of niacinamide in skincare, but most of the time when I'm using it, it's in the serum form. And having cleansers with these active ingredients is a more gentle way to introduce that to your skin since it's a wash off product and it doesn't stay on your skin for very long. When it comes to cleansers, especially that second step cleanse, which is what this product is, to me, it's all about texture. Because you spend so much time rubbing it into your face, I just love it to feel really soft and really slippery and feel like there's no sort of friction between my hands and my face as I'm washing it. This is a super lightweight cleanser and it does bubble up a lot, so it feels like I'm getting really nice and clean, but to me it's just not my favorite texture of cleanser. I'm looking for something that's just a little bit softer or maybe a little bit foamier. I've talked about how I've been really loving milky cleansers lately, ones that kind of stay that milky cream consistency and don't really foam up because of how soft those feel on the skin. And when it comes to something that will foam up or will suds up, I like something that's super soft and has a lot of slip. And this was just kind of lacking in that sense for me. With some gel cleansers, my skin is left feeling super dry or tight after using it. And I don't necessarily feel that with this cleanser, but it's just not as nourishing of a cleanser that I'm looking for. For, and that texture is just not quite right. It's a little too lightweight for me, a little too bubbly and not foamy or soft enough for my personal taste. And this other cleanser I want to mention really exemplifies that perfect soft cleanser texture that I love. And it is this cleanser by Good Light. And this is the Cosmic Dew Water Cleanser. I've talked about this brand before and how I really love their milky toner, but I am really loving this cleanser just as much. This is a gel to foam cleanser. So it comes out as a nice clear soft gel in your hands. And then as you're rubbing it in, it turns to really soft, nourishing foam texture. It has that perfect amount of slip and the perfect amount of bubble that actually very much reminds me of the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. There's just something so soft about it and it feels so slippery but I feel like still cleanses deep enough to really clean out all of the dirt left on your skin, but still leaves your skin feeling really nourished and really hydrated afterwards. I'm a person that usually cleanses in the shower, and I know you're not supposed to cleanse your skin with hot water, but especially in the winter, it can be really hard to avoid that. So during those really hot showers, what I like to do sometimes is I take my second step cleanser and I put that on my face if it is a consistency like this that it'll actually stay on your skin. And that works to kind of protect it from the heat of the water and the shower and kind of like a quick hydrating face mask. But beyond that dual purpose, like I said, for me, cleansers, it's all about texture. I want that slip. I don't want to feel like I'm dragging my fingers or my hands across my face in any way. I want to be as gentle as possible when I'm cleansing my skin while still getting a really good clean and I'm really loving this cleanser. Okay, now to go into a couple of serums. This first serum that I want to mention is actually an exfoliating serum, and this is by Biosons, and it's the Squalane and Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. And this is actually the mini size right here. It's just 0.5 fluid ounces rather than the full ounce. And I actually bought this in a holiday gift set, I believe, with a couple other minis. The full size of this product is $62, and I definitely 
just wasn't ready to commit that amount of money before trying it out first. This is an exfoliating serum, which isn't a type of product that I have a lot of in my collection. A lot of my exfoliating products are chemical exfoliators that are in toner forms, so something that's super liquidy. So I was really curious about trying this serum form, especially in the winter with this being paired with squalane. It can be really nourishing and hydrating to the skin as well as having that exfoliating nature to it. And as compared to an exfoliating toner, I'm actually really liking this serum consistency. I just feel like it's easier to apply because usually when I have an exfoliating toner, I usually just pour it straight into my hand rather than using a cotton round or a cotton pad. And I just feel like this is a lot easier to more evenly distribute across the skin. Lactic acid is an AHA, so it's an exfoliating acid that focuses more on the surface of your skin rather than getting a little deeper in your pores. So this is comparable to glycolic acid, but this is a more gentle version of an AHA. And I know the consistencies for serums can really differ so much, but this is more on the side of even like a super, super lightweight gel moisturizer. It's really nice and hydrating to the skin. And with my skin specifically, when it comes to chemical exfoliants, I just tend to get along better with AHAs anyways. This is a super gentle form while still being very effective. Sometimes I'll notice a change even overnight. I know sometimes you don't want skincare to work so fast, but exfoliating is one of those things that you can almost immediately see benefits from sometimes. And this was still super gentle while still being super effective. This next product is by Korean Skin skincare brand Skin1004, 1004, 1004. I'm not sure how you're meant to say that number, but anyways, this product is the Madagascar Centella Ampule, and this contains 100% Centella Asiatica extract. Centella Asiatica or Sika, I've talked about a lot on my channel before, but it's a naturally derived ingredient that is very popular and commonly found in Asian skincare. And Centella Asiatica can have a lot of benefits in the skin. It helps with inflammation, it can help with redness, and there are studies showing positive effects with this benefiting wound healing. So if I'm ever getting some acne flare up, Centella Asiatica or Sika is often an ingredient I will turn to, and this is a really interesting format of it. It is an ampule, and an ampule is very similar to a serum. However, this is very, very liquidy in consistency. It is, I would really more think of this like a toner. I guess it has a little thicker of a texture, but not really. Because it has such that thin consistency, I actually prefer to mix this in with one of my moisturizers rather than just using it on its own. I have to admit, I'm not super wowed by this product. It is great that you get so much product for the price, and it's obviously a very pure form of what it is, so you know that you're really getting the maximum amount of that star ingredient. In a lot of serums, I'm, I'm looking for the benefits of the actives or main ingredients that that product is advertising, but I'm almost always looking for more hydration from all of my serums. I like serums that are multitasking and really focus on that hydration and moisturizing benefit that you can get from a serum. And I feel like because now my skin is kind of in a better place overall in general, I'm not dealing with as intense of acne flare-ups. So I'm dealing with less redness, and less inflammation than I normally would be, which is a lot of the benefits that you can see from Centella Asiatica. So I'm maybe just not noticing the benefits because I'm not really needing the product as much as I would have before. I'm still a big fan of the ingredient and I do like this product. It's definitely worth it for what you get price-wise and amount-wise. I mean, this is just a huge amount of an ampule. It's 100 milliliters. I see myself using it up for sure, but probably not rebuying it again in the future. This next product is another ampule. And again, ampules and serums are pretty much one and the same. I talked about kind of the sister product to this product, but it is the Cosrx Propolis Light Ampule. And the star ingredient of this is that Propolis Extract. This product specifically contains 83% Black Bee Propolis Extract. So Propolis is an ingredient that is made by bees. And Propolis in skincare can also have some antibacterial and anti-inflammatory benefits. So again, this is good for dealing with acne on the skin too. I've talked about 
about the toner that goes along with this product, the Propolis Full Fit Toner, I think is what it's called. I really loved that toner, but this is just an even more supercharged version of that toner being in an ampule and the texture of it is just so nice and hydrating. And it's not sticky at all, but I don't know how to describe it. I wanna say sticky, but sticky feels like a bad way to describe it. It just is so nourishing feeling. It's so hydrating on the skin. It's great for layering because I feel like it makes the products that go on top of it really stick to it and sink into the skin even more. I know when I was talking about the toner, I talked about how it had almost a sticky feel to it, but it just, it has that really nice, gripping, hydrating feeling on the skin, which I really love. I like to use this on days if my skin it may be going through some sort of redness or acne flare up, but it's a day that I'm not using any active ingredients, then this is a product that I will turn to to kind of still have that anti-redness, anti-inflammatory benefit, but in a lot gentler way. This is probably one of the most popular products from CauseRx, and it is kind of on the more pricey side as compared to a lot of their other products, but I still think it's well worth it. I kind of just wish it came in a bigger size. I've gone through this one pretty fast. Such a winter skin savior for me. Next product is a moisturizer by one of my favorite brands. This is the newest release by Glow Recipe and it's the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. If you know me and you've watched pretty much any of my skincare videos, then you have heard me talk about Glow Recipe and how I love a lot of their products, especially their serums. I very, very much love the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. It is the best hyaluronic acid serum that I've tried. So I was really excited to see that Glow Recipe was coming out with a product in the same line. Something very cool and different about this product is that it's actually refillable. So on the inside, you can kind of see that there's this plastic purple rim as soon as you open the packaging. And once you're done with it, you can actually take that part out and buy a refill to pop back into this jar. And the jar is very cute as well. Those refills are also more affordable. So if you're buying a refill, then you don't have to buy the whole thing again. Not only is that nice to your wallet because it's a little cheaper to buy more of the product, but it's also nice environmentally since you're going through less waste, having to have less packaging for more product. I wish I had better things to say about this product than I do. I kind of thought before I even tried this product that it wouldn't be my favorite just because of how I saw it being advertised is a super lightweight water cream like moisturizer. I love a cream moisturizer, one that's a little thicker and with this being a water cream formula, it's definitely a little more lightweight. Because it does have that hyaluronic acid, I do still feel like it has that hydration benefit from it. The texture is just a little too lightweight for me and if I use this on its own, it's definitely not enough moisture for my skin. So this has been great for layering, especially on those nights where I'm not using my hyaluronic acid serum. This is a great way to still get that ingredient benefit in your skincare routine, at least for me. But it is something that I have to layer another moisturizer on top of to get enough moisture for my skin that will last me through the night. If I just use this on its own, it's just not enough. If you have more oily skin, this may be a moisturizer that you really love, but for me, it's not enough. It's good for layering, but I wish I, I do wish I love it more than I did. And I, I'm so looking forward to when Glow Recipe comes out with a moisturizer that I really love because to be honest, I don't really love any of the moisturizers that they have right now. I had high hopes for this one. I like it for what it is, but it's just, not for my dry skin. Ugh, to be honest, it kind of hurts my heart to talk about a Glow Recipe product that I don't absolutely love, but I gotta be truthful. And this last product is a face oil, which isn't something that I have used very often in the past, but I've been starting to incorporate more, especially when I was trying out that Glow Recipe moisturizer and I was needing a little more for my skin since that wasn't really enough. This is the Naturium Plant Squalane Face Oil. Squalane is a plant-derived, this one specifically sugarcane derived oil. Squalane is a super lightweight but also very hydrating face oil that is not going to clog your pores at all, but is still going to be a great final step to kind of seal in your whole 
nighttime skincare routine. I know some people really love using oils in their skincare routine while some people really don't see it as a necessity. I'm kind of finding myself going back and forth. It's definitely not something I use every day, but on super dry days or days where my skin feels like maybe the moisturizer layers I put on underneath aren't quite enough, or I just want something that's really going to help everything lock in and stay overnight, then I'll go in with a couple of drops of this oil at the end, or sometimes I'll even just put a couple of drops in of this oil into my moisturizer that's in my hand, not in the jar, obviously. When you have more acne prone skin like I do, that can tend to get clogged pores, and especially in certain areas of my face, introducing something like a face oil can be a little intimidating and and I know that I've made some mistakes in the past and went a little too overboard using face oils or just using face oils that my skin didn't really get along with and definitely had some breakouts because of it. So I was a little nervous before trying this one, afraid that I might get the same kind of reaction, but I haven't at all. And you know that I love Naturium and the fact that it's such an affordable, accessible brand with such a variety of types of products and ingredients that you can try. And I think it's a low stakes way to try an ingredient or type of product that you may be interested in trying, which is pretty much what I did with this here. And I know there are some brands, I'm thinking of Biosan specifically, that sell Squalane for a lot higher higher of a price than this one, but in my experience, you don't have to spend that much to get a quality face oil. And something like this could just really last you for a long time too, since you're really only using a couple of drops at a time, and for me, is not an every night use kind of thing. All right, and that completes this video with some of the updated products in my skincare rotation and giving some mini reviews and my thoughts on some newer products, newer to the market or just newer to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like or a comment down below if you feel so inclined. If you haven't already, hit subscribe to stick around. I would so appreciate if you did. And until the next video, I will see you all then. Bye!